G'day guys, Defiant from Defiant Mods. A quick one, I know I say it's a quick one, but this one hopefully will just be a quick one. Um, this is a little problem that caused me a, a couple of days of downtime on one of the P1P machines. And um, it's this little collet, this little um, holder for the Bowden tube that comes in here. This is actually the, the filament sensor unit. And um, it's got a PCB, PCB on, the, on the side there. Um, yeah, and it, uh, basically the Bowden tube comes from outside the machine, goes in the top of that, sits in there. Um, that then feeds down into the extruder, which would be around here somewhere, and then that feeds down into the tip, gets hot, it melted, you print things. Um, basically what happens is, is that uh, this Bowden tube that sits in there, um, in this one spot here, uh, it, 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 it takes um, uh, all the all the turning and twisting and, and eventually because um, the, the Bowden tube's static in there so as this is always going around the tube's spinning inside and the little teeth in there on the, on the holder end up really grinding as you can see on that really grinding a groove in it um, and it's not such a drama per se but what, what ends up happening is is a um, all the crap that grinds down when you want to pull it out and replace it or say like in my case you get a bit of stuck filament a bit of snapped off filament in there um, uh, in hindsight I probably just sort of fed more filament through and, and dealt with it that way but um, just just um, you know just uh, you know at a, at a knee jerk reaction I thought I'll just remove the filament I'll remove the Bowden tube and, and pull a piece of filament that was that was clogging up in there um, but what ended up happening is, is I ripped the teeth out of that doing so because of that bird, that bird section where those teeth cut a hole in there. And I destroyed this little, um, this little holder. Uh, so I thought, oh, that's no big deal. Look, I'll just go on to uh, Bamboo Labs and I'll buy a new one. But you can't. Um, you can't buy these little, these little Bowden tube um, clips as a solo unit at least i couldn't see them on the on the aussie website but what i could do was buy this whole unit for i think it was 19 bucks so i just did that and did a replacement um, i thought it had happened again i thought the same drama i managed this time to get the bowden tube out without destroying the teeth um, i know you just push that down but it doesn't always work 100 percent. and if there's a couple of teeth that don't retract in there when you squeeze that collet um, it, it just it just destroys it um, Anyway, what I did notice is that you can buy these in those. So you don't have to spend 20 bucks and get a hole. You could just buy, you know, that for eight bucks and get a, get a bunch of spares anyway. But you do have spares on your machine to save you the downtime. This cost me a couple of days downtime while I waited for the new, day to, uh, new part to come. Um, you can just simply slide this one off here. And this one obviously just pops out of there, as you can see. I've half done it. There it is. It's out now. Um, so that's out. So say that. So that was one that was that was shagged out, and the, and the little teeth inside were all all cocked up and bent. Um, you've just cut your in your piece of thing. You could just slide that straight off, all the way off that. And this is the the Bowden tube that comes from inside the case to the to the top of the hot end and feeds out the back. And they use one of these with a little blue clip. You're probably used to if you look inside your P1P, you'll see that with a little blue clip. And basically, all that does is it just stops it from pushing all the way through back through the uh, the rubber um, the rubber flange or grommet thing that's up top there. Um, just a simple way to get you back on the road. You know, you could you can take that off, pop it back in there, screw this back on. This is five minutes work. Seriously, five minutes work. Get that back up, and you're back up and running. You don't have to have that there. You could zip tie that. Um, you could, you know, 3D printer, third party, whatever you wanted to do. I don't know why I didn't notice this solution to start with, and, and I and I ended up with a couple of days downtime. Um, I think I bought one or two of those units when I got the spares back when it happened to me. That's what I ended up buying that whole unit just for that little part sitting in there. <laughs> Cost me 19 bucks. And, and it's not the 19 bucks, that, that, that doesn't worry me, I can absorb that. that. That cost is easily absorbed, but it did cost me a couple of days while I waited for the part to arrive, which still isn't bad in, in saying that, but it's, you know, it was a couple of days downtime on, on a machine that I didn't need or, or have to have, when all I had to do was slide that one off there, remove that unit, pop it back in there, pop that back in, and I was up and running. 
But there you go, guys. I'm sure it's, it's happened to somebody else before. There's my old one anyway. I, I think I threw away the part. Um, uh, you know, I'm sure it's happened to, to someone before. I'm sure it's going to happen to someone again. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's going to happen to me again. Uh, it's an easy way to get around it, easy way to get a fix. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Have a good one. Cheers.